Greetings and salutations to you people of the interwebs and welcome to this week's edition of Transformer of the Week where I'm going to be looking at this guy. This is Marvel slash Transformers or Transformers slash Marvel, forgot which way they put it round, crossover Venom. This is Venom as a Transformer. Imagine such a thing and I figured it'd be a fortuitous time to do a review of this guy because well the movie's just come out. I've seen it today so we might have a little bit of a in the middle of this a kind of movie review. Non-spoilers but we're going to spoil the shit out of this toy. Wow what a toy it is. I love muscle car alt modes and this is the most muscle of muscle cars. <laughs> it's just we've got the um the logo, the spider logo on front with some purple flame decals here in the tribal flame, not just flame, tribal flame, as you do. Oh, the front bumper there with a, all the headlights and the grill, We've got that like teeth motif going on. You've got the painted wheels. And the hubcaps, just really spiky doom, it rolls really well, it's just oh, an awesome just beast of a car. Even the um, handles, even the door handles are painted, look at that. We've got the metallic windscreens, the back, the ta rear tail lights are painted. If you, if you weren't in any doubt that this is Venom, it says Venom on his license plate. Oh, even the indicators, even the back end, look at that, even those are painted. Front indicators, just absolutely fantastic. And I know we don't display our cars upside down, but look, look at that. Look at it. I can just about see some hands in there, but other than that, there's an entire bit covering. Covering the bottom of the car. It's just, what's going on? It's a Transformer. That is a Transformer, you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know. <laughs> it's a robot in disguise. <laughs> I love it. And just the, all the details of the car, it's a beast. Because this is a standard Combiner Wars car. Oh, just massive. Just a mass, I don't even know what it's scale with. I think it's too big. The masterpiece, even. So it's just its own little thing. I mean, you wouldn't. I don't know if you'd really put Marvel crossover Transformers with other Transformers or with other Marvel figures. I don't know where this guy belongs, but where he belongs is somewhere cool because this is just an absolutely amazing alt mode. And he is a Transformer, he does transform. It's been a while. We're going to guess our way through this, <laughs> which guessing our way through it, it seems exactly what the director did of the Venom movie. <laughs> yeah, um, so I saw it today and let's flip those bits down there. It's, well, I think people are going to say this is a bad movie. It is in many ways, but... And here's the book. I love bad movies. These bits sometimes pop off. <laughs> uh, it's cheesy CGI, really bad dialogue in places. Uh, Tom Hardy doing not one, but two stupid voices. Yeah, it's at best, at the best bits, it's a really good body horror comedy but at the best then it's just kind of devolves into the standard superhero tropes which you know as Venom's an anti-hero you'd think you'd, you'd want to avoid that there's moments in it that aren't earned and it's just it's a B movie it's a B movie that's a Hollywood blockbuster movie so it's it's, it's trying to be a blockbuster movie but it, it's uh it's a B-movie, and the, this is kind of like the opposite of a crossover, Transformers crossover. Here, yeah, we're, we're taking a Marvel property and we're crossing it over with something else. The Venom film is 
uh, a film where they've taken a character from something and they've just removed him completely so he doesn't cross with even things that are supposed to be within its universe. <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's just having it devoid of, of the Spider-Verse seems crazy. Crazy. The, the Venom, the origins have nothing to do with Spider-Man. It's just... Okay. Okay. It's just, it just loses something with him just being Tom Harley with a silly voice. But parts of it, I think I really enjoyed. However, if you've watched the trailer, you've seen the entire film. It's one of those where the entire film is in the trailers. So make of that what you will. So I've been distracting myself, but I've not really got very far with this. So we've moved those bits down there. Um, we popped that bit off, and then we popped it back on again. So I think it's just one of those where you just need to get some stuff out of the way. Like so. So we've got to move that bit so up there, move back that bit's down there. This bit will separate that way. Alright, okay, okay, okay. So top half, bottom half. We're getting somewhere. So these bits flop there, flap there. Then this bit, these bits fold down like so over the we can, oh, I don't think we fold them down yet right so we pull out these feet like so and then these bits flop down right we're getting somewhere so I think we've got his legs done so now we get to this top half we have all this bit that was covering the underside of the car we kind of fold that around this bit I believe will fold up eventually we want to get these separate these out I believe these will go like so this bit wants to separate from the main body of the car like so, there's his head sculpt. <laughs> oh, actually, we want to get this on the other side of that. So, this head here needs to be where this is. So, there are some clearance issues, but we get that through. I'll tell you, it's been a while. <laughs> been a while. That's a uh, standard one of those songs that once you say the phrase you can't help but um, do a few bars of. So those then bits peg into there I believe. Um, maybe not like that. Let's see. And this bit we're just gonna fold that flap that back there. I think we want to get this so it's spin these round. <laughs> um, it might have become clearer a few minutes ago not to watch this video if you're wanting instructions of how to transform this figure because we're just guessing at the moment. Which is a weird phenomenon. There's, there's like some people come to videos for a review, whereas others they want instructions. And the two sometimes you just want to tell people what a figure's like. You don't want to give instructions because you don't particularly want to transform it. <laughs> yeah. This is quite an old figure, so there's not, I don't think there's that many reviews of him out there. There'll be some. And 
probably do some people who, who can transform it better than I can. So, because this does not look right at the moment in time. It's all about these hinges back here. It's very thin hinges that you're just trying to guess how it was about. They fold about three or four different ways. And it's trying to guess which way they're supposed supposed to hinge to do the optimum transformation of this guy. Top of his head comes off. <laughs> right. That doesn't look right either. So these arms can move out and kind of the hinge this way for some reason. Um, It's probably right, but it just doesn't feel it. There we go. I think we're winning. I think we're winning. I think this, we say we've won. I don't know if we have won, but I believe this is Venom in his robot mode. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that chap, eh? Wow. He's got some proportions to him, alright. But you know, Venom is supposed to be quite oddly proportions wise. Um, yeah, he's got this flappy here on the back, but other than that, I don't know if you can make out that head sculpt. His tongue and everything, just a robotic version of the, the symbiote. There must have been, he must have been a symbiote to some kind of robot at some point in the Marvel comics. If you know, let me know below. That'd be quite cool to see. There is actually a, a robot Venom at some point. Um, quite like how he's kept the, the uh, spider detail from the car hood onto his body. Uh, he's got some wide ass shoulders going on. Um, look at them calves, man. <laughs> Venom has not been skipping leg day. Wow. So yeah, his head can turn a little bit there. There's no movement at the head up here. Uh, that kind of just pops off quite easily. And it's got quite a bit of movement here at this shoulder and it can go all the way around here it can bend back El elbow can bend that way he's got a turn the the wrist he's got a pointy finger wow if I had them there'd be a missile launcher in that bit there but um, he never actually I got this second hand and he never never had it. So yeah, but yeah. Fancy having a pointing finger, man. Wow. They really pulled out all the stops here, haven't they? <laughs> but yeah, wrist swivel. Bendy fingers there and a separate pointy finger. So Venom can do some pointing at you. Ah you're gonna roll on the floor like a turd in the wind, or whatever he says. 
like a turd in the wind. Yeah. All the best scenes are in the trailers. <laughs> um, so if you unpeg that chest bit there, you can get some waist swivel and bits of ab movement. But he is supposed to be pegged in there to actually locks that all up. Uh, he's got universals at the hips. He's got a swivel at the knee and a bend at the knee. But you know, he's got these feet, these legs are bloody massive. Oh, oh. talk about flurs. And then he's got several points of articulation at the foot, including an ankle tilt and an up and down. So, yeah, he's got lots of just. He's strangely well articulated, but design wise, it's like. It feels like. Because it wasn't the main Transformer team that designed these. I think it was one of the action figure teams. So they've, they've designed it, its articulation to be like an action figure, but they've not necessarily had. It's miss feels like it's missing some bits of transformation that could have made this better. But for what it is, the paint, the plastic quality, the um, the articulation is really well thought out. It just it's just missing something. But I do like that it's got weird proportions and. Yeah, the transformation up here was just a bit of a, a pain in the ass if you've not done it for a while, but I'm sure after a few times it'll be it'll work all right. But yeah, all these little details and the thighing of the, the tube tubings and stuff like that. It's got a pointing finger. It's just like a it was like a standard retail toy really. It wasn't a, you know, it's not a masterpiece thing, but any it's not a master it's obviously not a masterpiece thing. But The movie isn't a masterpiece either. <laughs> Burn! <laughs> yeah. I really like this. It's got a charm to it. Like the movie. But there's just something that's not right. <laughs> it's a B-movie. A Transformer. A transforming Venom. It's got charm to it. It's got articulation. It's got gorgeous paint. It's one of the best alt modes I've seen. It's just, just, I'm not. When, when did we say this was from? Oh man, the, the, the date stamp's long hidden in the transformation. But for a figure that is that old, he's, he's pretty solid. And that's why he's this week's Transformer of the Week. Join me next week, we'll be the more Transformers, more weeks. And all that type of good stuff. Until then, <clears throat> I was going to lose my voice then for a second. You know you're going to be excellent to each other. You're going to party on dudes and dudettes. And until the next time, let's leave it with a bump, shall we? Pisto! Pisto!